Hello, uh, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing Hardball. So, another day, uh, now I'm fresher than yesterday, um, or with the last episode, uh, where poor Hope Sweet Hope got mauled a bit by that uh, very nasty Cylon surprise attack. So we notice that the Cylons are actually adapting their tactics, apparently. So they really nicely neutralized the um, Manticore and some of our missile missiles. They redirected the missiles to the Manticore. But we can, we can be thankful and grateful that uh, most of the personnel actually made it out of that Manticore. So the order to abandon ship was given uh, early enough. So every nearly everybody is okay we've got some injured people but everything is fine so far but we lost the ship which is of course not so bad but then we are i think we are just jumping one fleet here and then we are sending some reinforcements over there yeah so that's the situation right now very sad but it is good to know uh, what the war drivers can do because i i wasn't aware that uh, the war drivers can actually turn the missiles around Maybe that's something new. Not sure about that. Well, but now it's Heimerich's turn again. We do have a stronger fleet than those that oppose us. Apparently, Heimerich has dodged these other fleets and has isolated one of them. Let's proceed. And that is, by, by the way, that was uh, yeah, his, uh, his strategic choices have been pretty, uh, pretty good, I guess. Yeah. And now we go into the tactical battle against one of these fleets. So here we are. Looking at our fleet. What's this, by the way, up there? But with that number, let's be careful now that we... That Hope just... Lost one ship. Yeah, and to speak of role playing for a second, so I did lament a little bit about the problems with uh, this other game, Wildlands, that you uh, can find on my channel. And um, I feel, or I think that I'm really a person who has a very, very high threshold for uh, frustration. But uh, I'm getting to the point that I really, that I really uh, consider to just deinstall that game, but. Um, Especially as we are just uh, with my human friends uh, or like the real world friends uh, with whom I'm playing that game. We are just one mission um, away from completely uh, from from completely completing that one. Um, yeah, here we need guided missiles, but I'm uh, I think I'm yeah, I'm going to end it, of course, like in the proper playing hardball way. But it's messing up my computer so often. Yeah. Like blue screens of death and then the even the file structure uh, has been hampered. So it's really bad. Bad situation. And I'm really glad. And that's the positive thing. So here BSG <clears throat> basically never let me down. I don't recall that uh, I had any uh, crashes here actually. Or maybe maybe in the beginning, I think, but that was more like the thing of the the graphics driver. I think it was rather unstable. So here we are, the reticon. We are going to turn around. You guys. Yes, commander. Evasive maneuvers. Understood. We strike when we want and not uh, when the enemy things yes sir they can force us to so we do have we do have one uh, raptor though because i want to check something i want to try out something so this will be this will be a thing so you guys are flying there 
fly like so. Yeah, I think I probably the other Corvette was maybe not careful enough. <clears throat> so like the angle was not wide enough so we couldn't really get away so so well. So that's in my opinion that's essential for the use of a Manticore for uh, identification purposes. Yeah. To be able to flee very quickly. So, all right, ending the turn. Are those revenants? Oh yeah, we've identified revenants, okay. So that was good to be, that was good to be uh, careful, you guys. Fly around like so, we are, we are shooting our missiles, Yeah, they, they are nearly inside the nebula, that's very nasty, but maybe we get lucky. But I think they are going to hide inside the nebula. You guys shoot with full attack stance so we can shoot some more missiles. And I want to send the raptor actually to one of the revenants. I want to try it out. What, what happens actually? <clears throat> so the raptor can defend the Nemo sign, so we just stay there. And all Vipers also defend the Nemo sign, use it as a rally point. Frigate. On it, Commander. Flying away, shoot your missiles at the Nemesis. There we go. And you guys, you can actually also do a full full scale attack there and actually you guys do the same let's let's shoot some more missiles although i'm <coughs> a bit worried that they will just fly into the nebula but let's see so ending the turn yeah already under fire yeah they are, they are just Buff the nebula, but it's good. Our missiles can find them. So they do have... So we've, uh, we've identified everybody, that's good. They've got two radar squadrons. And two Nemesis, that's good. Okay, so actually the Raptor... Yeah, Raptor just stays with the Manticore. And now you guys boost away. On it, Commander. Do some evasive maneuvers there. Hey, oops. You guys. Yeah, you actually know you boost you boost away. We need to get some distance because we know that the revenants are so quick. Yes, sir. Ranger. Boost some. And all Vipers stay with the Manticore. Ending the turn. Yeah, they are shooting. Oh yeah, that's actually... Oh yeah. Okay, good. I think we were never really in danger there. But it's fine. Um... And now I want you three guys to attack the radar Understood. prototypes. Well, the Raptor and one Viper squadron will remain defensive. Got ni a nice missile salvo there. Ranger, go offensive again. Shoot full salvo of missiles at that nemesis on the, the enemy's left flank. And all other ships just boost ahead. <clears throat> While the Manticore adjusts course and goes higher. And actually shoots at this guy if we can. 
All right. Ending the turn. Good. All enemy missiles neutralized. First nemesis has been destroyed. And we do have some dogfighting going on. Okay, very good. First radar squadron is down. You guys take care of the next one. And we are going to see a boarding action. You guys attack. Yes, sir. That one. You just boost the head again. Artemis. Divert power to offensive systems. Shoot missiles at their nemesis. Ranger, boost ahead again. So say we all. And yeah, so the raptor stays defensive, but yeah, oh no, rather you guys, you attack the raider as well, and then everybody will uh, go for one of the ships anyway. Oh, but the uh, the raptor can actually shoot missiles. Let's do that. Fire missiles there at the nemesis and then we are going to board a revenant oh that's elite even maybe then we we are actually boarding the other one yeah let's do that all right good ending the turn yeah, they do shoot at our viper squadron is taking fire so far everything is fine, very good, missiles are finding their way. Oh, but our guys did not manage to destroy the raiders yet, but... Ah, yeah. The raptor has one salvo, so let's board that revenant over there. <clears throat> I hope we are far enough away from... Yeah, well, my, maybe this Talon will shoot the raptor. But I guess it should be fine, and then we'll try out what that is. What? And I hope we have enough marines in there. Artemis boosts forward. Ranger goes offensive again, shoots another volley at the nemesis, just to make sure that it is gone as quickly as possible. While our frigates go offensive and shoot at the elite revenant. There we go. And you just cause Manticore also goes offensive, shoots at the revenant, going low. And we are far enough away. All right. Ending the turn. There we go. Ah, that looks good. Our missiles come in from behind. That's good. Ah, that's good. All of them. Very nice. <clears throat> but we are not destroying it now. I overestimated the efficiency a bit. Oh, yeah. Okay, now all Vipers go on the Elite Revenant. And then we are concentrating on the Nemesis over there. They will shoot missiles, but uh, sending the Viper somewhere else or back to the Manticore uh, would be a waste, so it's fine. You guys boost forward, staying above the uh, the reticon. <coughs> so that's fine. Oh yeah, now actually it's time to boost ahead again. On it, Commander. So there we go. There we go. Ending the turn. Oh, there.
Uh, oh, that's. Oh, that is. Missiles incoming. No, okay, no, it's fine. Because we boosted. So the Cylons are really, really good at uh, at aiming. You guys boost again. Just so we get some distance going. Ranger, prepare for another strike. Oh yeah, now it, actually it looks good. I think uh, I think they will be... Oh no, it shoots, it hits them in the bottom. Yeah, well, maybe they are gone. Ah, the Revenant is also looking very badly right now. <clears throat> so... They will probably dodge. So let's shoot one more uh, vo volley with the Ranger there just to make sure the, the Vipers will finish up the Elite. Revenant soon enough and then we can <coughs> we can check out yeah I mean the Raptor is under fire but everything should be fine so and that's just the normal nemesis there we go nice double kill very nice that's what we love right that's how we love it so, that Revenant is desperately shooting at our Raptor. Did they shoot down a Raptor? No. No, it's fine. Everything's fine. So you guys know what to do. Vipers attack the Talon. And actually I want to see it through. Or you better not crash into each other. I want to see it through, actually. Um, how it works out with the with the boarding. So let's shoot some missiles over there to the talons. Okay, uh, so those missiles were wasted, but uh, I just wanted to make sure. And then you boost away from the revenant although we can actually turn around like maybe next turn yeah let's turn around so and here this is our raptor ending the turn boarding action yeah we slice through the hull our marines are inside now what's so what's going on here oh yeah boarding party oh Oh, I think we should, we should increase our turrets, uh, no, sorry, our stands. Um, and here we can see, so increasing the marine strength, like this. Emergency cruiser that. on standby. And then let's see, is this changing anything? 111 against 157, oh, okay. Um... Minus 20% or minus 20 processing power on Cylon ships, minus 25% repair subsystems, minus 15 accuracy. I like, I'd like to know if our boarding crew can actually take over the ship or something. That would be interesting to know. So they are sitting here. That would be interesting to know, but I think we should have sent two for that. Yeah, but what actually happens? So I think like our 111 Marines will not be able to do uh, to win against 157 Centurions, I guess. But let's wait and see how, how that goes. So and they are coming for us now, of course. But we are just yeah, we are just flying away and. Uh, Let's shoot some more missiles at the Talon with full attack stance. Same goes for our... On it, Commander. Now come on, guys. So... What's going on with you guys? Do you have some difficulties? Shooting missiles there. 
Manticore. Full attack. Oh yeah, actually uh, there were some shots coming in. Shooting missiles. Alright. Then. Fighting is going on here. Yeah, very good. Vipers are coming from behind now. That's how they should do it. From the dead angle. Okay, so how's the boarding situation? Oh, actually our guys... I think we don't have a chance here. So at the moment we are just reduced... Uh, we, we are just reducing their accuracy. So I give our marines like... Maybe one to two more turns, uh, and then we'll see what happens. But the number of the Centurions didn't drop. So I, I guess we need to board a ship and maybe take it over, if that is even possible. I guess we need more Raptors, huh? Well, okay, maybe we should try that uh, with a smaller fleet or something. With a smaller enemy fleet. So frigates. What is wrong with you guys? Is it the boosting? And why did they actually boost while having a stance? That was some uh, something weird. So say we all. So flying there. You guys. On it, Commander. Fly like so. Raticon turning around too. Staying defensive now to help the Marines. Ranger. Yeah, you can actually stay uh, in attack stance. And the Reticon goes as low as possible, right? Yeah. Okay then. So that's fine. Is there any fighting going on? Ending. We don't hear anything, we don't see anything, okay. That Talon does have problems. Oh, and they, they are really boosting towards our fleet now, okay. Yeah, let's leave the Vipers there. Anticore, <clears throat> go into attack stance, fall back a bit. Although I think that we are not uh, in shooting range anyway. Reticon losing height, shooting more missiles right into their hangar. Ranger. Oh, and by the way, so let's actually, let's shoot some missiles at this Revenant. Let's see what happens. Like in the front. Marines, stay clear of the front of this Revenant. We are shooting some missiles. Maybe that will uh, reduce the Cylon numbers, like the Centurion numbers. Yes, sir. Ending the turn. Oh yeah, they are trying to dodge. Yeah, that's good. Well, the Thailand is, uh, is flying nicely. So what's the boarding situation? Oh no! Oh! The boarding party is at 13. Okay, well, then abort. Abort, guys. Where's the... How do we do it? The raptor. The raptor is still at strength 24, though. Hmm. Yeah, let's recall. Let's recall the, the raptor. Understood. Okay, get out of there, guys. Guys and girls. Okay, well. So that offensive experiment uh, 
did not work out. Oh, actually, the raptor could could also attack the revenant, huh? No. So ending the turn. So more missiles coming in there. So I feel that this talent will now be destroyed. Okay. Missiles wasted. Could have recalled the uh, the vipers first, but on the other hand, I didn't want them to be fired at, and like especially not from behind. Squadron target is confirmed. Yeah. Go there, Raptor. You fire at them. So I'm not sure the, the like from the BSG series to uh, interrupt the role playing for a second. I always thought that the Raptor didn't have any weapons. Like no, they could fire uh, missiles, but um, and even nukes or something. But I I never thought that uh, they had any um, board weapons, like guns or something. But apparently they have. So let's let's watch that. So here we are. We're using our front turrets with the ranger. Shooting at the Revan now. Missiles are nearly there. Next salvo. Full attack stance with the Reticon. Focusing fire on the Revenant. Frigates. Actually, the frigates can boost forward a bit. Yes, Commander. More, uh, more missiles. Oh, and uh, all the frigates can also. Oh no, then then we are not boosting. Full attack. Full salvo of missiles over there, guys. So and then let's see what. Yeah, they they have some board weapons. Okay. Oh, that was a bit sad. Like, the, it would be nicer to have a follow-up function. But maybe, like, uh, with, with the review, we'll see some stuff. That might be nice. We will see the raptor. Okay, ranger. Presenting broadside. Going low. Focusing fire. Manticore. Yeah, we are concentrating Understood. fire on, on the Revenant. Artemis. So say we all. Shooting more missiles. Focusing fire. No oil. Brigades. Turning in. Shooting at the Revenant as well. And the Vipers will take on the Talon. All right. That's as far as near as we can get to the raptors. Okay. Ah, that looks pretty good. Everything goes on top. Oh yeah, very good. We are destroying the revenant. So, hmm. Well, I guess our our marines got some uh, good experience there, though. I just hope the the we don't uh, we don't have too many casualties. And actually, you guys can. Yes, commander. Fly there. Half turret. Raptor. Attack as well. Because why not? Ranger. Presenting right broadside. Firing missiles, focusing fire, Artemis, focusing fire. Yeah, and you guys are fine. There. So, ending the turn. Yeah, they are shooting at the Manticore. That is fine with us. 
and very nice they break apart in a ball of fire missile self-destruct good okay good job Heimerich we had some uh, marine experiments so let's have a look <coughs> it's turning around launching vipers and the raptor that's the raptor oh yeah mm -hmm. first shots fired <coughs> And we respond in turn. Well, actually, we we fired the first shots, right? Or like we fired the first missiles. Yeah. There was nice defensive fire <coughs> from our Vipers. Although I think that uh, the uh, the torpedoes wouldn't have hit us anyway. <coughs> so there. Yeah. There, yeah, the dog fighting. Against the radars. <coughs> oh yeah, nice, nice close up on the radar. <coughs> nice viper action on the elite revenant. <coughs> Yeah, that was. <coughs> Excuse me. That was actually very nice concentration of fire on that elite revenant there. <coughs> nice, nice, nice. Vipers have switched to the talents now. Body action, action is still going on. But I think at this point we notice that uh, the Centurions are overwhelming our Marines. So... Getting the Marines out of there. Order has been given. They are very nice. All on the right side of the Talon. That was nice. That was a nice picture. Nice camera angle there. And they can't withstand our fire much longer. So, Marines have been... <coughs> have aborted their mission. <coughs> but well, they, they got some uh, intel on the interior, right? I think we've never had any in, uh, internal uh, information on a running revenant. There we go. So, that is nice. Yeah. All right, good fight. Heimerich. Let's proceed to the to the next phase. So, yeah, that's very nice. So, by the way, I do have a criticism of the game. Because, well, I don't feel that it's in any way repetitive or anything, and maybe that's why they thought, uh, or like it's not too repetitive at least, uh, because the tactical situation is always uh, different. Even with the limited numbers of ships, of different ship types, um, but I feel they really could have, uh, they could have done more tactical uh, missions, a, a, a bigger variety. Like, for example, just saying, <coughs> okay, there's... Um, a certain Cylon ship. Yeah, let's. Uh, we we need to uh, maybe hack into their um, their system or something, and for that we need uh, to land a boarding crew or something. Like for two turns, just something uh, inside a mission. Yeah, just something to spice up things to make it more interesting. Um, and uh, well, maybe in the next game or something. Yeah. But there, there are so many more uh, possibilities. Yeah, like also defensive missions. I mean, we do have defensive missions, but why are we never attacking any Cylon installations, for example? Like finding, finding a Cylon refinery or something. Yeah, or a, a Cylon uh, space factory or something. 
Yeah. <clears throat> that would uh, that would be better. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm still okay with it. So, but do tell what you think. And maybe, I'm not sure, uh, yeah, in a later game or something. Uh, I think there are not any more DLCs coming out for this one. But maybe that would be a thing for, for a sequel or something. Yeah, but if you have any thoughts on that one, please do share. Let's continue next time with Wilbert. And actually, that is a... Yeah, that is actually a, ra a weaker Cylon fleet, so I expect maybe one Talon and the rest... Uh, and the rest Nemesis. So we can actually send out some more Rangers, I would argue. Let's... Uh, uh, Raptors, I would argue. Let's do that. All right then. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked it. I mean, I liked the footage. Uh, we we had some very nice scenes here. Um, yeah, and it was interesting to use the Raptor for for a boarding. Let's try that again. Okay then. Then uh, thanks for watching again, and uh, please don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. So you never ever miss an episode again. So next time, bye bye.